Hey there, and welcome back. You always come back, don't you? Uh, and we are glad for it. Well, right to it, starting today in Indonesia, or off Indonesia's Sumatran coast, more apt. Now that's where the Indonesian Navy rescuing this boatload of around 200 people. Geez, just in time, looks like many of them dehydrated, hungry, and suffering sunstroke. Now, those on board the 12-meter vessel report that they were cast adrift three weeks ago by Thai officials. Thailand denying the report. Now, this much is known. All of those on board are members of a stateless Muslim minority group known as the Rohingyas. And this is the second boatload of Rohingyas fleeing neighboring Burma found drifting at sea this year. That's too, too many. Well, over those, uh, well over a half of those now rescued receiving medical attention in hospital. Well, from real life perils to plain old political drift now, and where else but Washington, D.C., and an Obama administration that just three weeks in seems, well, a bit lost at sea. In one day, the president losing two of his nominees to tax problems. Oops, including former Senator Tom Daschle, who was to oversee health reform. The president wasting no time in admitting error. Well, I th you know, I think this was a mistake. I think I screwed up. Uh, and you know, I take responsibility for it. And we're going to make sure we fix it so it doesn't happen again. Still damage, at least on Capitol Hill, done. Skeptical Republicans now awaiting a new, th new health secretary nominee, as well as battling Mr. Obama's stimulus package. Senate Democrats and other allies calling this a minor hiccup and vowing to press on. News from the natural world now. Extremes at two ends. And the linking element here, water. As in, not enough. Not by a long shot. Uh, well, at least in northern China, there the nation's breadbasket hit hard by crippling drought. Next to no rain has fallen since way back in October, and the forecast is not encouraging. Efforts like this largely for naught. Uh, and it isn't just the crops that are affected, although that's bad enough. Drinking water to around 4 million now cut off by the shortage. And water, clearly too much of it, plaguing northeastern Australia. There, more than half of Queensland state declared a disaster area, that following wide-scale flooding from steady rains and driving storms. Now, rescue operations are underway, and adding to the problems for those left stranded, the entire region now under a snake alert, as wildlife, including crocodiles, seek dry, dry ground. Yeah, subject to flooding, I'll say. Okay, longtime downloaders know that we often add a little sass to our efforts here. Uh, as one of my editors called it, news with a snarl. <laughs> well, when it comes to snarl, I got nothing on these guys. Uh, Two-month-old Lion Brothers making their debut at Israel's Ramat Gan Safari Park. And clearly not at all happy to be separated from mom, it seems. Well, no worries. This basically just their preliminary weigh-in and inoculations. And a little bit of practice at Bite the Vet, too. Very good. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say shots? Well, no wonder they're so cranky. Well, the cubs are named Salam and Shalom. Ugh, medicine taste. Ugh. Uh, neither showing their peaceful side today. Well, no worries. Beautiful cubs all the same. Reminds me of my Leo friend. Uh, well, that is your download. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again real soon.